hold the camera out here. Out here, you're covering the microphone. Microphone's where your thumb is. There you go. All right. This is Bruce Barkley again coming to you once again from J Tech Automotive Technology School. And I want to show you how to cut metal using welding torches. This is not uh, acetylene welding. This is not the tip that you need in order to do the shot with. So we're going to swap it out with the tip that you do need. This is the tip that you need to do your cutting with. It has two lines that run down this way and an extra O2 valve right here. I'll explain to you what that does in a minute. But when you go to put this on, you want to use just your fingers to tighten everything. All right, you want to orient your, uh, your valves so all your valves are in line with each other. And then get it get it finger tight and you should be good to go. Okay? Then you want to check the position of your valve. Okay, I know my O2 is off. I know my my uh, fuel is off the acetylene. I have, I know my tank is closed here. My tank is closed here. Just to make sure I don't have anything in the lines, I'm gonna go ahead and purge them. I'm gonna open up. This, I'm not seeing any pressure indicated there. So I know there's nothing in the line. I do the same with my acetylene. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the acetylene up. Okay, now this is what happens. There's six holes in the end of this cutting tool. What happens is your acetylene and oxygen mixture combine to make your flame out here. And then, once you have your flame established, you use this and make it another adjustment to make it so that it'll cut. But what this is doing is this is gonna add a boost of oxygen through that center hole, and the oxygen is what's gonna be doing the cutting. Okay, so now that I know that my, my rig is safe and I've got no pressure in any of my lines, I'm going to go ahead and pressurize this stuff. You want to open up your uh, oxygen bottle valve up all the way. Okay, and I'm going to turn my uh, regulator up to 25 psi. Now this is gonna vary depending upon what thickness metal you're cutting. The thicker your metal is, the more O2 you're gonna to wanna to use. Okay, and then I'm gonna open my O2 port up here and here and just work that valve a little bit. Now I know I got oxygen flowing all the way through to here, okay? Now I'm gonna open up my acetylene bottle. I just need to crack it open just a little bit and it's gonna show on this gauge. Okay, once I see that, I'm gonna turn this up to five. Okay, I got five there. I'm gonna open this up a little more. I don't like how it dropped. There we go. Okay, I'm remaining stable at five. And I'm gonna open my fuel up. And that, now I know I'm pressurized to here with nothing but gas. I got my fuel here and my oxygen here. Put on some safety gloves. Check those eyes. Okay. Turn on my assembly. Just pinch. 
give it a stroke. You always want to know where your fire is going. You want to adjust that fire until you get rid of all this black smoke coming off of it. Get a nice feather. There we have it. Nice feather here. Okay. Thank you. 